Name one funny woman. I know they're out there. Come on, you do podcasts. You did four interviews today, right? Funny woman. You've been doing this for over a decade. Name, name one funny woman. Oh, I know they're out there. The, the fucking girl that you were just talking to out there, don't call me white girl. She's hilarious. Is she? Yes. Is she? Her f- podcast is amazing. All right. What did she talk about? Mm, I don't know. Her fucked up past. Okay. Dating, whatnot. There you go. So the only funny women, in, like there's like her and there was one on Joe Rogan, this Ugh, fat, putting me on the spot so this fat black there. woman, uh, it, it's traumatized women. If they have like a fucked up past or they're really overweight or something like that, and they have to deal with a bunch of things and get over it, that's kind of, they turn masculine. They'd be like, yeah, I'm going to beat you up. They'd be uh, just turn into men. I was going to say that though. That some of the like very overweight women that I know are like the funniest and, and best personalities I know because they kind of have they to have to be adapt to society. They have to in compensate that way. Yeah. for their weight. Yeah, there's a lot of truth to that. Or they have a really messed up past and they just, they had to cope with their terror. 